Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are asking the question, what is the meaning of the signs that I've been seeing and the synchronicities that I've been experiencing? So what, what does it all mean? You know, and I'm going to be looking at it from a kind of love perspective as well as from a general perspective. So uh, please make a selection. There's deck one, deck two and deck three here. And uh, you can go down to the timestamp, uh, which you'll find in the description box below. And you may go directly to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and begin with the deck one, which is this one. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking is, what is the meaning of the signs and the synchronicities uh, that I've been experiencing? What does it all mean? Okay, so we have the first card. And that's the last. Okay, so I feel that you're um, I'm going to give you a couple of perspectives. Um, I think that if you've been seeing signs and, and experiencing synchronicities and you're, you're wondering about a love relationship, uh, then I think that um, you need to understand what you're being shown or what you need to understand here is there's, there's something about the relationship that doesn't belong in the relationship that's making the relationship toxic or sick. And you need to let go of that. And when you let go of that, you will need you will experience a kind of um, feeling of disharmony or feeling of sadness because you've let go of something. But at the same time, you would have uh, a new opportunity to begin um, within the relationship and you know move on in a different direction within the relationship. Um, in some rare cases, this may also mean that the relationship itself is sick and it's beyond repair and that you need to let it go and and you need to you know you'll there'll be a period of mourning when you do let it go uh in terms of other areas of your life i feel that um if it if this is not this doesn't have anything to do with love in your life and you're just seeing these signs and it's, you know experiencing these synchronicities and wondering what they are it's basically telling you that something is not right it's telling you that something is not okay and that it's actually going to um it's going to harm you in the longer term and what you need to do is take action towards that which you love and re-experience the joy in your life and move towards that which gives you a great amount of joy and gives you that feeling of being in bliss or just being satisfied or fulfilled in life and do whatever it takes to make you do to make you uh, to get you to that point um, so that you don't succumb to that the suffering or the dis-ease that you've been experiencing right now and yes this mean may mean that sacrificing something or giving up something or maybe sacrificing some people in your life uh, but it does mm, uh, sacrificing some people as in you know creating a bit of distance between uh, them and yourself um, but it will actually um, have a longer term benefit uh, for you I feel that if it, this is in a work context uh, that you're wondering it could be that uh you know, it's time to let go of a particular job. It's time to let go of something that's not been okay for a long time here. And that it's it's been impacting you negatively. It could even be impacting your health negatively. All, in all these scenarios, it could be impacting your health negatively. And it's actually, once again, asking you to move towards that which you love. You know, I had somebody comment on one of the videos the other day that uh, it's, uh, you know, um, I've come here to... to ask about my work but all I'm hearing about is love and you know perhaps actually it is about you moving towards love it is about you moving towards love in your life love in your life doesn't all necessarily mean it has to be a romantic love it could also just mean learning to love yourself or discovering where self-love is lacking in your life or where is it that you need to love others more 
Or, you know, how can love play a role in all of this? So I'm saying that if something is not okay in your work relationship or in your in your work scenario, uh, then the question is, are you loving yourself enough to make it okay? Are you loving yourself enough to have compassion for those around you, but also be able to break things off if need be and to create boundaries and to be able to let go uh and let go, let, letting go doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be all fine and it's all going to be okay. It, it does entail a bit of sadness. It doesn't entail a certain amount of grieving, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be chained to a particular circumstance uh, that's, yeah, that's making you unhappy uh, just because breaking it up might be an uncomfortable thing to do. So it's suggesting here that you move away from that which is not okay towards that which you love, but recognizing also that it will be not the easiest thing ultimately, but you are supported in that. Okay, so that is it for those of you who choose in the first option, uh, which is this one here. And moving on to the second option, which is right here. We are asking, uh, we, are, we are asking, I've been seeing signs and, and experiencing some synchronicities lately. What is the meaning of this all? What is the meaning of this all for those who've chosen the second pile? Okay. Doesn't feel right. Uh, apologies if you are hearing any background sounds. Uh, I've been trying to do this video uh, for a while and I just keep having to stop because of all the construction work going on out around here and the fire engines. Um, yeah, so I'm just once again asking what is it that those of you who've chosen the pile and the two need to know? Yeah. Okay, so for me, uh, what what this, these cards here represent is that um when you're seeing numbers, especially when you're seeing numbers, all right, you're going to find that sometimes you see like, uh, you know, two sets of numbers, like a 22, 22, or 11, 11, or 30, well, you won't see 33, 33, but you might see like, uh, like on a watch anyway, you won't see that on a clock or, or something, but you would see it perhaps on, uh, in, in some other place. Uh, when you're seeing that, these cards are saying to you that you're about to experience some kind of misfortune or well, things are about to take a dip slightly but don't worry hang on uh it's going to be okay like you are going to be fine in fact there's something that's good that's going to come out of this so even though it's going to be rocky for some time just hang in there and just note that uh this is not why you've been seeing the signs it's not to tell you oh well things are going to go bad but actually to say to you that things are going to take a dip just for a little while and then they're going to get better so you may experience some challenges or uh, but it is going to get better and you there is a higher plan here there is something that is in place this is happening for a good reason there's something that needs to be learned from this there's something that needs to be let go of there's something that's going to move you to a different level uh within your growth and within your journey and within whatever it is that you you know that context is that you're asking about and or that you are you know whatever it is that is a priority for you in your life at this moment and you are being moved to a better space even if it means that you know uh, you've missed your flight and you it's you've lost your luggage and it all looks uh, terrible right now uh, there is a bigger plan in place and it's going to be okay all right so um, this is I'm getting that this meaning here is especially for those of you who are seeing um, numbers like uh, you know as I mentioned like uh, um, yeah just like double sets of numbers or or something similar um, 
I'm hearing if these are, if, if this is something that you've been, if you have a gut feeling about something, okay, and um, you have a kind of feeling that comes from whatever it is that you're doing, uh, that, and you kind of have some doubt about it, I, these cards are also saying, don't doubt that, you know, we're showing you where things are going to go uh, awry. And we are actually trying to warn you of that. So take heed, take heed that something is not all okay here. And it may have to do with not something that you're doing, but something that somebody else is doing that's impacting you negatively. And as a result, that you are going to experience some kind of misfortune. Um, so take heed, ensure that your passwords are protected, ensure that your belongings are protected, lock your things away, uh, at least for a little while. Uh, these signs and synchronicities are telling you that you need to be aware and that uh, you, but, but there's a bigger plan here and that ultimately it'll all be fine and ultimately it'll all be fine doesn't mean that it'll be fine in 10 years from now in five years from now in a year from now or in a month from now it's going to be fine just now okay um even though things may not go well for a little bit it's going to be fine immediately after that so hang on it's going to be okay all right so that is the um the reading for those of you who've chosen this option here which is the second option and I'm just going to move on to those to the third option here. So for those of you who've chosen this one, you're asking, what do the signs and synchronicities mean? What are the meanings? What is the meaning of the signs and the synchronicities? Oops. Okay, it's just the cards are falling all over the place here. So... What is it that those have chosen the pile number three we need to hear? What is the answer that is relevant today? Right, they all um, upside down. I'm just going to turn them around. So I I read the gypsy cards. I only read tarot cards uh, in the reverse position. I don't read the other cards in a reverse position. I, I work clairvoyantly, so the cards are just like a kind of way for me to connect to you uh, and to give you something to look at <laughs> online here. Uh, and so yeah, don't freak out that I've turned the cards around and I'm not reading it in the reverse position. Uh, you are welcome to read your cards in whichever way you like. And this is just the way I read it. If it, the meaning is reversed, I will be alerted to that. And uh, I will deliver the information as uh, is required. Okay, so basically, we have uh, an unexpected joy. We have a party and we have a lord. And I want to say that while I was shuffling these cards and I was about to drop these cards down, I got the um, the I, I've been I've been I've been I got this message that a lot of you are asking, well, is this love? Is this true love? Is this my twin flame? Is this the man that I'm supposed to be with or the woman that I'm supposed to be with? Is this the the one? And the answer is not. It's not. It's not. Don't take this as if it is. That's not what these numbers mean or the synchronicities mean. What it means is that it's all okay for the moment. And right now, things are going really well. And just go with it. Okay, that's the message here. And they're saying, well, go with it, you know. And where you find unexpected joy, follow that. And you'll find that you could potentially meet people who would be just right for you and impact your life quite positively in terms of work uh, or, in fact, introduce you to somebody who you may love ultimately or it might be that you may meet somebody that you would be in a relationship with but this is not necessarily to say that uh, 
if for every one of you that this person is the one and don't get carried away with it what they're asking here is specifically for you to be in the moment to be present and to just enjoy what it is that's coming your way just really be fully in that moment where you experience that happiness and that lightness and uh that's what what the, the, the synchronicities are saying to you just be there as well as the numbers the numbers are saying well there's this moment that's coming up that's really pretty special can you be present in it and can you actually enjoy this uh because this you know it works in cycles so this moment is is beautiful right now but it doesn't necessarily mean that later on uh it's it's going to be the same so while you are experience uh seeing this um just ride this wave just enjoy it and live it to the fullest um the other thing i'm hearing here is that um if you're invited, if you receive invitations to be in a social a context, to go to a party or go to a, an event or to an awards ceremony or something uh, like this, or even to a lecture, take uh, this offer and go with it. Uh, it's meant to be. Do it, you know. So don't turn down offers and find the joy within the situation. If, if the situation is presenting you with joy, don't doubt it yes this can be happening and yes it's not too it is happening it is true and it's not you don't need to think that it's not it's too good to be true um the other thing i'm hearing here is that um the person that you're going to be meeting or the persons that you will meet within the context is they are actually important for you and i feel that this is so much more to do with your work or your career or what is important for you as a person as opposed to this person being there for love and i want to say that there may be like three percent of you who th this would be a love relationship and this the person that you're going to meet is going to be important for you in terms of love either because they are the person that you need to meet alternatively they're going to introduce you to somebody or somebody that they're connected to is going to be the person that you need to meet but this is not the scenario for everyone and i think i've mentioned that already now but it is important that you meet somebody and that you be open to meeting somebody so yes go ahead be present enjoy yourself allow the joy to seep in um and savor every moment of it and go out and share yourself with the world and at the same time when the opportunity arises uh, for you to meet somebody that's new and interesting and different and eccentric and not really the type of person necessarily that you would be interested in, just go with it because there's something there, okay? And I feel that, that is really the message for you. There's two aspects to it. Well, there's three aspects to this, really. It's just that be in the present moment. Enjoy what's coming your way. Take invitations that you are offered, uh, or even if it's a work um, thing, or even if you know you are at a work in a work scenario and and uh, you're being invited to do a course, a training, or something. Go ahead and do it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be valuable for you in the longer term. And uh, yeah, even if somebody that you're meeting comes across as stern or as not necessarily the type of person that you'd like, to, you'd have a jolly good time with. Just give it some time uh, there is something in there there's something in there for you to to benefit from to gain from to to experience something that's greater than you can actually see and that is what um the meaning is of this of these synchronicities that you've been experiencing and that is what you know if you've been seeing numbers etc any kind of science um that is what it means especially if you've been hearing like birds tweeting etc um and there's a particular kind of bird that's been on your path in the last weeks or days. This is uh, this particular reading here. The, this number, the third option, refers to you being invited uh, somewhere, and that you ought to take them up on. You ought to go out with. with you ought to do it. You know, even if you're quite an introverted person and you would normally not really go um, out to a party or something like this, or you would feel uncomfortable. In this environment just go ahead and give it a chance go with it uh it's going to be okay and it's meant to work out in this way and so that is uh your reading for those of you who've um who've chosen this and i just want to say thank you to jolita who's actually asked me to do this a, a while ago already she's um she's requested this i think in 
November or December last year and apologies for bringing it in so late. I actually did shoot the video uh, with five options and then I recognized that the sound was not good on it so I had to throw it away and uh, I'm just reshooting it for you and hopefully this is these um, your questions have been answered here. So thank you all once again for coming to this channel and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.